This is my banana, hazelnut and caramel baked Alaska. Right, let's start with the ice cream. Take a frying pan and put on a medium heat and add your sugar. Because first of all, I'm going to make the caramel. And as the sugar starts to melt, I'm going to begin to chop the bananas. Now, as this is a dry caramel, don't be tempted to stir the sugar, because otherwise it can start to crystallise and get clumps in. The sugar will start to caramelise very quickly. And just when you've got a light golden brown colour, add your bananas. And then add a good dash of rum. Make sure the bananas are completely coated in caramel. Then pour in some double cream and, last of all, vanilla paste. Now, just simply put into a processor and blend. So, very gently and carefully, pour into the ice cream machine. The machine's a great way of getting things going, but if you don't have one, just put the mixture in the freezer at this point, stirring vigorously every 30 minutes until it becomes quite firm. And then churn. For about 30 minutes, but ice cream machines can vary, so churn till set. So after 30 minutes... The ice cream's now set, and I'm going to transfer it to a bowl. And lining the bowl with cling film means that when you need to take it out, you can just pull away gently and none of the ice cream sticks to the sides. A little tap, just to get rid of any excess air. Cover the top with cling film, and then pop into the freezer for anywhere between two to three hours until it's rock solid. Now for the lovely caramel sponge. First of all, we're going to cream the butter and the sugar. And that's the consistency you want. It's a lighter colour, it's creamy and fluffy. Now with the mixer back on a low speed, add in two eggs, some chopped almonds, flour, baking powder, sour cream and a drop of vanilla extract to finish your sponge mix. And that's your sponge ready. It really couldn't be easier. Next, take a cake tin lined with greaseproof paper and just put the sponge mix straight in. Pop into an oven about 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until cooked. And here we have a sponge that's cooked and chilled. Take a bowl the exact same size as the ice cream and just simply cut round. And that is the perfect base for the Alaska. Now let's start with the meringue. Take your egg whites and whisk. And then slowly start to add your sugar. And what I have here is a lovely, simple meringue. But I don't want to stop there, because I want to inject some more flavour into it. So I've blended some hazelnuts with a little sugar to create a hazelnut dust, which I'm gently folding into my meringue. Meringue's ready, and so's the sponge. Let's get the ice cream. And just look at this. Completely set, perfect for baking with the meringue on top. And then very carefully, put the ice cream on top. And with a bit of magic... There we go. And then working very quickly, take the meringue and just start to lay on top. And the meringue is going to insulate the ice cream sponge. So it's really important not to leave any gaps or holes. And look at my meringue mountain. It's now ready to go into a hot oven at 200 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes until it's a little bit crispy. Look at this. Just going to drizzle some dark chocolate over it, just adding even more flavour. And then last of all, another sprinkle of hazelnuts. And that is my Banana, caramel and hazelnut baked Alaska. For details of this recipe and more, go to foodnetwork.co.uk. I think Leonardo and his mum would be happy to share this with me. But there's no sharing today, because this is all for me. Mm. Food that makes you smile.